Good evening, everybody. So, welcome back for the first time in what's been actually a very long time. It's Content and Cocktails. It's Thursday, and it is uh, seven o'clock. And here we are again. Content and Cocktails has been a um, a cornerstone of my week for so long, and um, this week I wanted to take a little bit of time to sort of think about the idea of reboot or rest. When you've been doing a show like this for, oh, well, actually it was, it's getting on for three years now, um, I think, or about two and a half. Either way, a long time to be doing something this, this long. Uh, it, it, you get to a point where you think, actually, I need a break. And you think, oh, maybe I need a reboot, but actually, what I want to just talk about today is, is the idea of reboot or rest. Because the truth is that sometimes when we've been doing a marketing activity like this consistently, week in, week out, with a few breaks, can come a point where you think, actually, I think I might be getting a bit bored of it. Which is weird because I really, really enjoy doing this. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time today um, I guess uh, having a, a little bit of space to to think about this. Hello, Andy. How are you doing? Oh, you're showing us Facebook user. How are you doing, matey? Uh, good to have you here. Um, so yes, it's been a. Um, it's, I did. A, I've had a few brief, uh, a few very brief appearances um, over the weeks, but nothing, nothing sort of solid. Uh, my internet also has been a little bit hinky all day, so I can see that I look a little bit um, pixelated and sort of blocky on the uh, on the main on the main feed. So, um, uh, hello, Sandra, how are you doing? We're going to be answering a question from Sandra later on. But so this is this is exciting. So I, I've been uh, I've been a very good very good boy. I haven't been drinking uh, really at all, with with the exception of a few occasional very very rare glasses since since i since i got back from um uh uh, uh los angeles earlier in the year I've, I've been pretty much dry with the exception of a few rare evenings um so i'm going to be going up to bernard we're going to be coming <laughs> coming off the wagon in style <laughs> so so we're going for a, we're going for one from bernard and it's a it's a hot it's a hot evening here in uh in uh in plymouth so i'm going to go for a, a lido cocktail this is a very nice one it's um it's not necessarily the world's uh most hello i'm assuming that's karen i'm going to guess that that's karen hello chloe lovely it's great i was filming with chloe earlier in the week and it was a bit it was a bit warm wasn't it <laughs> um and yes, I'm, the guy says, I'm almost teetotal at the moment. It's quite shocking, actually. Yes, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, but it's never been an ideological. It's been more of a just to prove to myself that I can do it. So so we are going back to the source, going back to the wellhead um, for a leader. So this is this is, this is is the cocktail part of Content of Cocktails. If you've not done this before, um, then uh, welcome. <laughs> it's, it's a really, it's been... Um, a very enjoyable way to do things and i think this is this is what i want to get on to and talk about in a bit kind of reboot or reset um and i've chosen the reset button as opposed to the reboot i don't i actually really enjoy the format and we'll talk about that in a bit but i'm going to make this cocktail first so it's come from bernard those of you who haven't heard me talk about bernard um so 100 cocktails by bernard this was a book that was given to me by my my grandfather Neil Coxon, Madras, 1945. And it is a, a war standard issue cocktail book. So it says war uh, book production, war uh, war economy standard, which I love, you know. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, yeah, I think this is it. I think I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And I'm not sort of, I'm not in the pro process for, of, uh, of kind of... Um, of uh of going dry it's just I, I think i'd stopped enjoying it and you know got to the point where i thought actually it's become a bit mechanical so 
but now I'm really looking forward to this. So um, whether it's a two cocktail evening or a, <laughs> we'll we'll see. But the leader, so it's um, uh, a measure of gin. Always a good place to start. So we're going to go for a measure of gin, Plymouth gin, of course. So a measure of gin. Oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. God. See, I haven't done this for ages. So it's a measure of gin, a measure of uh, Lille Blanc. So, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm totally out of practice. I was looking back, I haven't been consistent with this for about hmm, three months, if I'm honest, probably a little bit longer. Um, a little bit of apricot brandy as well. So it says just a dash, so I'm gonna, never sure quite what a dash means, but you know, feels like I don't really mean with it. Ice. Oh my god, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> I'm really out of practice with this. Uh. <laughs> Can you close the door, please? Huh? Thank you, man. And then we're gonna decant. And there we go. A dash is a glug glug. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Exactly, a glug glug. That's what I gave it. I gave it a glug glug, Andy. Uh, and then we have to have a cherry. Everything's kind of feels like I feel really rusty at this. Go for two cherries. I'm feeling like a it's a double cherry kind of that's a, a double cherry kind of situation. So we'll see what Bernard has dished up for us this time. I think this is one of the nice ones actually. Cheers, everybody. It's good to be back. That's nice. That's a summery tipple. That's kind of feels like I'm I'm kind of uh drinking something suitable for this uh rather warm warm evening cheers yes cheers everybody so this so this is stream so karen saying what well, is my name not showing Streamyard or melon this so this is Streamyard. um uh so i don't know why it's not showing you now you've been you know you, you you've been um uh long been approved haven't you hmm I don't know. How's the stream looking with you? Because it's looking a bit sort of blocky and horrible with me. Uh, long uh, anyway, so there's lots to talk about this evening, actually. So we've got, um, first of all, talk about this idea of reboot or, or, re or reset or rest. So if you're bored with a particular marketing approach um uh it's um yeah pixel isn't it it's really annoying i think i'm let's see if taking the camera resolution down a, a little bit does anything for us oh i can't do it whilst it's live yeah we'll live with it we'll live with it um Hmm. I'm going to leave, I'm going to end the broadcast and come back on in a second. So just, just bear with me a second. I think it's the internet. I'm going to, bear with me, I'm going to put this onto a, uh,
let's try that again so we'll see if that's any better it might take a second to just kind of uh decide that it's going to be a better connection but i think it's i've plugged it in to the to the router so we'll see we'll see um okay yeah so this idea of um reboot reset or rest i chose rest had a long think about um about the format was it that i didn't like the format anymore was it that i didn't like the um uh the sort of the functionality of it or was it that i just needed a rest and i had a a long long hard think about this actually and it sort of it wasn't that i disliked the format actually i, I really really enjoy this and i think it was giving my time myself a little bit of space to to reflect on on the the sort of um on the process itself so when you know i've been doing this for two and a, two and a half years possibly three i'm not 100 percent sure um and i thought am i going to throw the baby out with the bathwater and um actually it's fun i really enjoy this and i missed it and i think taking a couple of months to sort of um remind myself of the reasons not just the business reasons but you know I, with everything that I do, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, it looks a lot. I think it looks a lot better, doesn't it? Um, so, uh, and Karen, your name's coming up now. Uh, yes. Um, so, yeah, I think it was just a case of rest. I, I didn't need to muck about with the, with the, with the process that worked. I didn't need to radically, uh, sort of do something completely different so it wasn't a reboot i didn't need to change it up i didn't need to do something completely different i just needed some rest i just needed a little bit of time to um remind myself why i enjoy it and that's all it took and i feel like i've come back tonight and really really feel kind of uh um ready to ready to rock and roll actually so um yeah you're going to be seeing so, sorry you're going to be seeing a lot more of me again <laughs> so it's um it's not um it's not a uh, um i think getting rid of these kind of processes when in the past they've worked well if they aren't working for you uh sometimes you've just got to you've just got to take a take stock and do a little bit of um a bit of thinking so that's what i did and i would i would recommend that you know that's a a, a decision to that you can maybe um uh um yeah andy says as you know we've had a lot in your, there yes i mean there's been all sorts of stuff going on um sort of behind the scenes both kind of work-wise and personally that you know we won't get into here because it's exceptionally boring and um uh but yeah the sort of things that where the practicalities of everyday life take front seat but i had a lovely day down in in london um with my uh my di um my, my my mastermind um gang that lisa put on and we had uh, a morning doing um <laughs> life-size monopoly so it was like uh um well it was exactly what it sounds like it was life-size monopoly it was sort of a mi mix between a very uh a very big monopoly set and um and a kind of uh uh what do you call it um oh man i can't think of like, escape room that's it yeah and it was really it was great but it was really really stressful <laughs> um i found the crystal maze we did last time to be much less weirdly to be much less stressful uh and we won that we didn't win this one um i'm a unfortunately a very competitive person when it comes to certain things and totally non-competitive when it comes to, to others um i can see that you know, the quality's gone again this is really bloody annoying 
What's going on? My internet has been all over the place this, today. Um, so, so if you find yourself at a point where you are possibly struggling with something in your business, market, well, we're talking marketing specifically here, as in you are not feeling the love for it anymore. Give yourself a bit of time. Take a bit of time to reflect on it. And I suppose the primary question was that I asked myself is, is this still working as a means of using video to grow my business? And the answer is yes, it is, because visibility is such an important part of the, of the whole equation. Um, so if the answer to that is yes, then you have to, then the next question is, what about it do I like? And then, you know, the, the, the answer that I came up with was, well, I like all of it, actually. I like the, I like coming and seeing people. I like the long form version of it. I like the ability to sort of chew over an idea in, in sort of depth. So all these, all these things I like. So I thought, well, you know, it's sounding a lot like uh, the, the format works. So keep it. Um, so let me just find, so I'll, I'm going to ask, answer Sandra's question here. So Sandra asked the question, hi, Tom, in, the, in, in the group. Hi, Tom, a quick question here. I want to go live in my Facebook group and share a Chrome tab open of a website and be able to show things in the screen as well as my face on the side. I tried all things and it shows the browser tab, but frozen. Is there something to do? Well, this is a this is something that is very easily um, fixed with 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 some, with some tools. So, if I was to click share share screen, I'm assuming that you mean something like this. So, all I've done is on Streamyard, I've I've used the share screen function. And it is as simple as that. And and what I'm what I've done here is all I've done is I've gone down to to, to share and clicked share screen. Now, the difference with my setup is that I am using a desktop with multiple screens. So if you are um Yeah, but not on StreamYard. Yes. So this is, this is, so Sandra says yes, but not on StreamYard. Um, you can use, um, I think you can, on, on OBS. Um, so OBS is, an, uh, yes, so, so, so to answer, so yeah, so this records it. Um, what tool are you using at the moment, Sandra? So how, so tell me a little bit about how you're going live. Is it that I'm... Just Facebook Live. Yeah, I think I think this might be a case of of finding uh, a, a, a dare I say it a, a better tool for the job. The Facebook Live um, setup is is a good basic tool, but I think for things that require a little bit more um, finesse, like sharing screens, that kind of stuff, you using a tool like StreamYard is um, is a really good solution. Now, I know that the, I mean, the free version, I think the free version of StreamYard allows you to share your screen. So you can use the, the free version of StreamYard, but um, you, you will struggle, I think, to find uh, a solution Oh, there is OBS. I I really OBS is is 
is an open source free suite. And uh, can you record on the free version? You know what? I'm not 100% sure about that. I, ooh, hang on. Let me, let's, ju let's just check that out, shall we? Let's just check that out. Hello, Victoria. How are you doing? Yeah, so let me just. Oh, I'll devigulate my face. Here we go. So, StreamYard. Free, the free $0 a month version, sharing, screen sharing, banners, on screen comments, six on screen participants, brand colors, green screen, stream only, a stream. So, there you do get StreamYard branding. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit on the hot side, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, there is the, the free version. Um, doesn't uh, doesn't allow you to record. So, but does allow you to to um, uh, to share your screen, to screen share. So, you know, you, you've got you've got a no recording. But I suppose what you can do is you can use a tool like um, uh, sort of a, a screen capture tool like Snag It or something to record the screen, but then you're paying for that anyway. So um, I feel there should be a way to do this for free, but OBS, oh, if, you, if you want to do this, OBS is going to be the free way to do this obs is sort of like a a really if you imagine a really user unfriendly version of Streamyard that uh may or may not crash on you at any given moment although i'm probably being mean to obs this is this is my experience of obs a few years ago i probably need to spend a bit of time with it again but i've always found it to be a royal pain in the bum um um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. How are you doing? How lovely to see you here. But it is one of these situations where um, putting your hands in your pocket solves a whole bunch of problems. Um, now, there are cheaper alternatives like Melon, um, which are very good now. I. I'm going to cycle between Melon and StreamYard. I have to have both because I, I professionally I need to know how to use both. So yeah, hopefully does that that probably doesn't answer your question to a, any degree of satisfaction, but hopefully it gives you some directions to to explore, Sandra. Um, uh, but um, um, yeah, you got to try. I mean, it, it's it's those sort of situations where. Um, there is a free option, and that's OBS. Oh, look, we've got somebody from Twitch on here. <laughs> it says, want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on mountviewers.com. Don't buy followers. Don't do it. Don't buy the followers, okay? Don't do it. It's bad for you. Gustav D3R underscore 086. No, thank you. Okay. Hello, Danny. Cheers. Hmm. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, so, so yes, yeah, Sandra, back to your question. Sorry there isn't a better answer. OBS is a free option, but you might end up wanting to throw your computer out the window and uh, um, come after me with a, with a you know... <sighs> Uh, a sword or something and kind of run me through for for suggesting something so ridiculous <laughs> there was such there was me thinking you spoke about melon as a no no melon is a is a streaming option <laughs> and i miss your face too funny i was thinking about you the other day actually um we've um 
we were going through some old some of the old footage and um uh uh there you were so yeah so. <laughs> ah and everything is going really well for you guys i can see from all the posts but it's very very exciting i'm danny is to be fair knocking it up a serious notch with your next live event aren't you my god it's probably all sold out by now isn't it is it right the, the arena I, I have this image of like a massive stadium filled full of all of you um <laughs> so what have we got coming up what's up coming up over the next few weeks so so i have been I've been giving some serious thought to the way things work and sort of fit together um, uh, in terms of the rest of the year. Because we've got we've got two two launches coming up. Well, actually, two and a half. Two and a half launches coming up. Well, pause. Almost sold out. Manchester United. That is amazing. I love it. well done well done I, unsurprisingly this this drink has has gone straight to my head it's really nice but like the first time i've had a drink in a very very long time so but it's lovely um so yeah i'm very very aware that the world of online courses and um learning delivery is, is in the process of changing i think we're generally speaking um feeling uh it feels like there's a lot of nervousness around sort of you know the recession word is being used we have a and <laughs> i don't think i'd be overly political when i suggest that we have a leadership that possibly couldn't find its ass with both hands um uh and um it feels all a bit risky at the moment so i thought how does how do you um how do you do uh the sort of the training that i wanted to deliver without it being a sort of crazy expensive process so we are doing video academy again this year but it's going to be slightly different we're going to be doing relaunching video skills made easy the membership that is going to be a very different affair as well and we're going to be doing live stream boot camp over august so um these are going to be the the core three things i do so video academy is is the is the is the big one but we've we've changed it up i'm not going to talk about that now what i am going to talk about is the relaunch of the membership so the membership is going to be um 15 quid a month it is going to be really designed to build the video skills, the practical skills. They're going to be focusing on um, the hows and the whys and the wherefores and how you do stuff. And there's going to be, we've got, um, it's going to be open all the time. So there's no, there's not going to be a sort of an open and closed kind of approach to it. So we're going to be driving membership through a, a variety of different ways. Um, ways that I, I really i'm going to share with you all the all the methods that we're using because um some of it's going to be driven by youtube advertising and that will probably our, be our primary source of um of leads and i think that's a really interesting thing to be able to share with with uh, people the journey that we're going on because one of the goals i set for myself last year was that in 2022 i wanted to understand how um how you go about making paid advertising on youtube work so one of the investments i've made this year is 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 in some training around that and i'm sort of at a point where i'm about to launch our first campaign so i'll be excited to sort of share with you that journey as we as we kind of experiment with um with with sort of paid video advertising and, as, and sort of omnipresence marketing around you know driven by video so there's there's that so we're going to be doing that relaunching the membership which is exciting so um 
that's going to so we're going to be running we are going to be running not a challenge week as such but a a week of getting stuff done and that's going to be the first week of august there's going to be a week of doing something i haven't decided precisely what it is going to be but it may well be a start to finish exercise of shooting and editing a short video for your business and that will be done in a very practical way partly to to sort of give something to the group but also partly to show you how the membership will work now there are a number of you who have sort of over the through the last year um bought products off me which have given you access to the membership you will have all of that um then in the sort of the rebooted membership so that's that's going to be available to everyone who's kind of how's that now that's this is a rele very relevant question how's the cocktail going? very well indeed actually who's that who is that who the devil's that it's andy andy the cocktail is excellent and i may well have a second one the danger zone i don't know if mike boss is out there or, or scott um so yeah um it's andy yeah, that's andy i knew that was Andy. yeah so we're going to be doing uh there'll be some more information coming out about that um my goal for the membership i would like to have 445 people in the membership by the end of the year that's the target we've set for ourselves um uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chloe says, stitching and alcohol don't mix. Risk bleeding on the work. That's very true. We don't want that. That'd be bad. But stitching and eating delicious, bready goods, that appears to be absolutely fine. <laughs> I had the, the pleasure of filming with uh, Chloe um, this week. And... Um, uh, I was plied with um, a variety, hello Scott, a variety of uh, delicious home baked uh, goods by um, uh, Chloe's amazing apprentice, whose name is I'm terrible. I'm like, I've got a brain like a bloody sieve and I've completely forgotten the name. Um, it's really, really bad. I'm sorry. Uh, oh no, I hate it when this happens. My brain is not fit for purpose today. Katerina, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for coming to my rescue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was. Bready, they were excellent bready goods. Which box me. Yeah, I thought you. The brain, if anything, Scott, the brain has deteriorated. Unfortunately, this is, but I, it shouldn't. You see, because this is the first drink I've had in about, you know, the first. So I've, I've, I've sort of, broadly speaking, been off the off the booze since uh, since I came back from um, uh, Los Angeles, and um, you'd think it would work you'd think the brain cells would have had time to recuperate but clearly it wasn't the alcohol causing the trouble <laughs> it was just the, the the raw material is uh is is impaired on a basic level it's gonna have to be a complete refit i'm afraid hmm. i think i might have another one of those yeah that was nice um so yeah so there's going to be a bit of a reboot on the old uh um the membership and then so we've got some um, live stream boot camp is going to be launched alongside uh re although it's going to be called go live to thrive and this has been something that's been brewing for a while um so i'm looking forward to that but like i say there'll be a there'll be a sort of um <sighs> festival of doing stuff as it were over the week it's not I, I don't really want to think of it as a challenge launch um because that's not really what it is uh, it's more just a um an opportunity for us to get together and try
try and learn some new things together. And I will be sharing lots. Do you remember, actually, do you remember? It was probably about, oh God, about two, this was probably about 18 months ago, two years. I did the um, subtitling thing in the group. And that was very much all about um, doing something practical. So if you remember all that time back, that's going to be the, um, the sort of the approach we're going to take. So also, I will say I have one spot left uh, available for the um, trial of so I'm I'm doing some sort of direct done for you YouTube stuff. So I'm helping a for this first time I'm helping a small amount of people with their YouTube channel set up, get all the channel art done, do all the research around niche, we do a content plan and all the sort of um the kind of the research is done for you. It's something I absolutely love doing. I've completely forgotten how much I love getting really, really geeky and into the weeds with this stuff. But I um, I wanted a, a small cohort of people to to try it out on because this is going to be my a sort of um, a slightly, uh, um, I would say, higher end uh, done for you uh, stuff. So this is basically we do we do a whole bunch of setup stuff together, and then um, I go off and do all, your, all the research for you and 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 get your channel set up for you um, in a way that's actually going to drive the right kind of people to you. So it's what I've been doing. So I've, I I took my child from um, uh, two hundred and fifty subscribers. I've now got one thousand seven hundred and forty subs um using the, the system that i've been working on so i was i was really pleased it works so i I'd, I'd, I'd done it with a, with a with a couple of um other businesses that i've been working with and then i thought why am i not doing this myself so i did it for myself and it works basically it's a way of identifying a niche creating content for that niche and sort of leveraging it um uh to get everything kind of set up sandra if you if you fancy it i will i will because actually i think you i know you're sort of you're chewing it over as an idea i can send you over the the details if you'd like it but yeah give me a give me a thumbs up if you'd like to give me a thumbs up if you'd like to know more there's my cheesy pitch for the day <laughs> ah, andy jacobs <laughs> There it is. Hmm. Can I just say, Karen, Andy, and anybody else who was there? Um. Yes, Chloe. You you get that. That's fine. You've got it. it you're down with it. You don't need it. You've got it already. Thumbing to the max. Excellent. Good stuff. I'll send it once I've finished this. I'll send it over. Um, yeah, I was in the middle of so a couple of weeks ago. Was it a couple of weeks ago? Or was it was it it was a little longer? Um I had a we, we had a an event down in the woods. Um at the farm. And Andy and Karen were there along with a bunch of other people, lovely, lovely people. Um, and we had a fabulous time. The weather was the weather was like this. It was just glorious. And I was looking at the photographs the other day and smiling to myself because it was such a lovely, lovely few days. Um, what came out of that weekend? That weekend? Well, no, it wasn't a weekend, was it? It felt like a weekend, but it was not a weekend. It was a thursday and a friday but i think all of us were so relaxed by the end of it that we and even me i was relaxed i don't know how i was relaxed but it was lovely um we came out of it i think feeling quite refreshed and energized and um 
I've been editing up that footage for you as well. So it's taken a bit longer than expected due to um, a slight staffing issue that uh, I, I have let other people know about. But um, yeah, a little bit of a of a of a situation with with editing that I've been slightly uh, um, I think let down is too strong a word, but. Um, uh, um, 16th of June, Karen says, God, was it back then? Yeah, so almost a month ago. God. <laughs> uh, but yes, it's all it's all looking very nice indeed. Um, so, yeah, I was... So the outcome of that was that we will be running a proper retreat up at the farm next summer. Karen says, can we share our photos? Some of we? Oh, yeah, yeah, chuck them in the group. Um, Andy says, it was a very, very special couple of days. Yeah, it was. It was It was absolutely flipping magical. It was so, so lovely. Um, if you share the, if chuck the photos into the group, Karen, I can, I can then share them on the screen here. Um, but yeah, so I came off the back of that and it was... I had some really interesting conversations with the guy, with, with 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 all the people who were there, and then came off the back of that and had some conversations with mum and dad, my parents, because it, it was up on my my parents' farm, and um, my parents kind of, you know, they they're sort of they're in their seventies, and so the thought of of kind of uh, getting sort of uh, sort of doing land sort of engineering works down in the woods is, is probably not hugely appealing and um we we kind of talked it through and so the the upshot is that it, we are going to turn that we're going to explore the practicalities of turning the space down in the woods into a, a proper sort of retreat space um we're lucky in as much that there is a uh, a really great hotel um just um over, about a, a mile away from from the farm and uh you know so there's accommodation available there is also accommodation available on site as well um in, in the form of of um uh, some, some airbnbs on the farm cases it was fun so yeah it was i think yeah i i can't remember having having had so much fun at, a, at an event for ages um uh and it was what i was running so, which is which is amazing normally when i've run stuff like that it's been it's been sort of quite a stressful affair but it was just such a pleasure having um so it's karen andy nick bev ming and liz and, and i um and yeah it's a really and Bev. Bev. I've said Bev. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hang on, I'm gonna I'll see if I can dig out some photos because there must be um I must have some photos somewhere. Oh god, this quality of this stream is absolute bobbins, isn't it? This is really annoying. How annoying. Ah, yeah, cool. Okay, hang on. We've got some here. I'm going to share my screen. So, let's see, we were down in the woods. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. <laughs> it was truly lovely. And that um, we were swinging down the woods. Bev, Bev on a swing. Yeah. Oh, it's me having a rest. Lazy Becca. <laughs> yeah, it was a splendid. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. If I can see any other. Ah, 
Uh, yes, that's the one I like. How about that? Hmm. Let's go and see and see if we can find uh so yeah, I really um I had a, a really lovely time actually. I'll, I'll get your and it um it really kind of prompted me to think about how this could be done um, in a way that I can share it with lots of lots of different people. Because it is a special space. And I do love, I do love being down there with with, with kind of you know with the sort of convivial atmosphere. And uh, lots of yeah lots of fun was had. So we will take some take some time over this this winter, autumn and winter, to um, uh, to take uh, to take that space and turn it into something which is which is usable. Now the idea behind that is that it's it's a space that that you know that, that is usable in all weathers because we were very very lucky very lucky indeed with the um the fact that the weather was just glorious it was nice it was i mean it was a very very warm couple of days but down that down in the woods it's quite sort of um it's quite sheltered so um we we kind of we, we lucked out but had it have been raining it would have been a very different experience so uh, we want to place some structures down there that that don't interfere with the look and feel of it that don't sort of interfere with the the kind of the, the atmosphere of the place but do mean that that if we're down there we can both eat drink train uh and enjoy the space in a way that doesn't kind of um you know doesn't feel like we're being shortchanged if the weather's a bit rough but also there is that it's an accessible spot for um for for people with a range of of mobility issues because you know, I, I think the one thing that we can all agree on is that walking up and down a path over some sort of stepping stones over a stream and kind of uh, with roots and things was not necessarily the world's easiest thing to do. So we're going to put in a, we're going to make the whole thing wheelchair accessible, basically. So, uh, um, but that requires a, a nice flat path, um, which the path into the woods at the moment is not so what was very interesting though so as <laughs> my mum sent me some photographs of this um basically in the in uh in the woods quite close to the uh, as you go as you walk down the path there's a big old tree that's, that's sort of split in three and it's been split like for years and years and years um and not any indication that it was going to sort of get worse but apparently it exploded it would it had got to a point where it had rotted and last week my parents sent me a picture of, of this thing having basically just finally given up the ghost and so those of us who walked past that tree that we saw that split in three um it's finally kind of it's finally just kind of given up and completely fallen over but um it it exploded with such force that it took out two trees next to it. So, you know, I'm just glad it didn't explode whilst we were down there. Um, everyone survived, which I think when it comes to running live events is possibly the only metric that really matters. Um, so that's it really. I just wanted to come back and share with you the uh, the practicalities and realities of taking a break from doing something that you, you actually really enjoy, but had got to a, a point where you possibly had stopped enjoying it. 
And I think that's where I'd got to with content and cocktails. I think I had just done too much of it and needed a little break. And that's all I needed. That's all I needed. And so taking that time to, to, to have the break, to step back and to assess what it was that I liked about it was all I needed. So I'm back. And I, I was going to... Yeah. I've been thinking about doing like a fancy intro to this and all sorts of stuff. But when it comes down to it, it is, you know, I think, I think you guys are in it for more than just the fancy, fancy intro. You want, you want to be able to pick my brains. You want to be able to see if I have a third cocktail not happening tonight, but the, the second one is probably more than I need. Um, and and really it's just about um yeah having some having some space to look at the uh the both the baby and the bathwater and decide actually that it's the baby you want to keep in this case the baby is content of cocktails oh andy has posted here that's cool i'm going to share this as a, as a last a last thing we look at they're gonna they're gonna look at andy's so we've got Andy. <laughs> we did have a lovely time, didn't we? Isn't that magical? I think they're going to have a lucky time. There we go. I've got something. This is great. We had a real camp. It was a real campfire feel to it. It was, it was glorious. It was such a lovely time. It's Ming. It's me. It's me again. Woodland tablecloths, cameras, assorted tech, me huffing on a fire. <laughs> it is very civilized, isn't it, Karen? We were very civilized. We cook. I I cooked um a uh, a very a, a sort of robust and rustic meal for everybody. It was um I did a, a goulash, and it was yeah, it worked really well. I was pleased the way it all turned out. But anyway, there we go. Look, guys, thank you so much for tuning back in and being so tolerant of my pr prolonged absence. Oh, I'm going to share this. I'll take that. I'll take that compliment. Top chef. I do love cooking. I love cooking for people, not cooking for people. I love cooking for people. I would never cook for, just to be clear, I would never cook for people, but I would cook for people. Right. Folks, thank you so much for coming back in and tolerating my absence. Um, yeah, it's great to be back. And I feel energized and ready to go again. There's lots of exciting things coming up. So um, stay tuned. I'll be here again next Thursday at seven o'clock. And really, um, Content of Cocktails is back. We're going to be working our way slowly but surely. Where's Bernard? We're going to be working our way slowly, surely, through Bernard. This was the original structure. The original structure of content and cocktails was a work through. And we did it, sort of. We did it. And we're back. 
we're back again. I think <laughs> I can see some some latecomers. I'm assuming this is Mike. Hello, how are you doing, Mike? <laughs> um, yeah, so we're back. We're going to be working our way through Bernard the next hundred weeks. So you know, one and, and three, one and three. 1.95 years probably something like that to work through well we are gonna so next week we're gonna start back at the beginning and i'm gonna tell you what so if your homework for next week okay i'll set you if you would like to drink along with tom your homework for next week is this Oh, crikey. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a way to start. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. So I'd forgotten that this is in, in alphabetical order. So the first cocktail is, and forgive me, an absinthe cocktail. A measure of absinthe, one dash of Angostura bitters, two dashes of anisette or plain syrup, a dash of lemon peel juice, half a measure of water, a cherry, and a tumbler full of broken ice. And this is what this is what Bernard says: three quarters fill a tumbler with broken ice, and add the Angostura bitters. Then put in the absinthe, the anisette, and the water. Shake well and pass through a strainer into a cocktail glass. Serve with a dash of lemon. Oh no, serve with a dash of lemon peel juice on the top and with a cherry. <laughs> it's these little bits at the end that I love. For anyone who knows little of cocktails, this is an excellent one to try at the outset. <laughs> I love the fact that this book sort of views an absinthe cocktail as a sort of light starters drink. Look. Join me next week for an absinthe cocktail. I've got it in the cupboard. If you haven't, I'll take one for the team so you don't have to. It's been a pleasure to be back. I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.